not miss out on it. Yes. I want that. This was the second time the former Attorney General was appearing before the Public Accounts Committee. He had earlier appeared but had snubbed subsequent summons three times until today. Lawmakers in this committee are investigating how and why the former chief government legal advisor endorsed the compensation to businessman Hassan Basajabalaba that was reportedly inflated from 20 billion shillings to 142 billion shillings. You are sitting before a committee that is considering very, very serious issues and losses made by you to this country. Was the directive to pay beyond what had been recommended and was that constitutional? There is no other inquiry for me. But Professor Makubia told the committee that he acted within the law and on presidential directives after government counseled Basajabalaba's contracts to run two major city markets. Do those directives follow the law? If it is constitutional, if it is in accordance with the law, my job is to implement it. Even the MPC man convinced the former chief government legal advisor stood his ground, insisting that he acted several times under presidential directives. Yes, the directive on paper is says conclude resolve the matter conclusively. The executive of all along I have been working on presidential directive. Professor Makubia is the second minister to directly implicate the president in the controversial payment after former finance minister Saida Bumba made similar claims last month. Now the committee is set to meet President Chair 7 next week as well as Central Bank Governor Emmanuel Tumosimit Mutebile. All the ministers that have turned up in this committee are pointing fingers to the president, saying he's the one who directed them to carry out this compensation. However, next week, as the committee members meet with the president, will there be any fruit yielded with this meeting? Maurice Ochoal, NTV.